Hello, welcome back to another video. As you can see from the title, it's an exciting one today, isn't it, Lewis? Yeah. He's here. So we have bought another horse, but it's not what they would expect, is it? Yeah, it's very different. Very different. But yes, we're gonna go up and collect in a minute, but I did empty out the stable and paint all that the other day ready in preparation for us so lewis is just gonna put the bed down so everything is ready for when we collect it so yeah exciting times but very different to what i'm used to the bed is already got the water in I just need to find a hay net but I think we're gonna have to find the hay net aren't we when we get back because we are running out of time we're picking it up at one o'clock and I need to go home and grab the horse box and get there so you excited though yeah yeah you excited to do something with something different are you it's going to be a bit of a learning curve for the both of us isn't it yeah definitely is. i've never had one of these breeds before they're very hard we've been told <laughs> so yes we're gonna run home grab the horse fox and we'll be back shortly we're literally two minutes away now aren't we yeah. you excited but it's not actually your horse, is it? No. No. You're gonna have some fun with it, aren't you? Yeah. But it has not been bought for you, has it? No. No. We'll explain more in a minute. But yeah, we're just about to pull up to the gateway now and load it up and then we'll let you know more when we get down the yard. So what do you think, Lulu? She's good, yes. Mm -hmm. It is a little filly, isn't it? Yeah. And she's coming three this summer, isn't she? Yeah. So it's not our usual. She's a mini traditional cobby type. And she's not for you, is she, Lewis? No. No, who's she for? Yeah. My nephews. Your nephews. She's for the grandkids. So... The whole plan is for Lewis to... You're going to show her this year, aren't you? Yeah, going to try, yeah. try and show her this year. Just get her used to stuff. And then hopefully get a broken to ride for the grandkids, isn't it? Yeah. But yeah, she's so sweet. Oh, where's she gone? This is it. She's too small. I don't know what height she is. She's... Uh, She's jinky, I'd say about 12, 2, 13. Uh, yeah, about 12, 2, I'd say. Um, but she's just so sweet. She's got a lovely little attitude to her. Um, she needs a bit of work with the travelling, though, to get her to shows, doesn't she? Mm. She wasn't... Not that she was unhappy in there she's got no balance on her legs she doesn't know what she's doing um so luckily it was only a very quick journey for her today i love this she's got like brown ears but she's mainly white she's got a lot to learn with the traveling uh, but that's fine it's all time she's not actually had much done with her at all uh where we've got her from it was an older lady and that's loved her cared for her done everything she's well handled isn't she mm. um but has done nothing else with her she's not been out to a show or anything like that not been out in the lorry or done anything so that's the side that she's got to learn but we've been told she's good to bath feet worm and just brush off and play about with and everything so yes this is Pip, little Pip. Hey, 
you. We'll find you a hay net in a minute. We just wanted you to make sure you were settled before we put one up. But look at this fluff under her neck and her beard. So much of it. And I have been told that will need trimming off the shows. Um, but yes, that's not just mane under there. This is bead hair, neck hair. Hey, what a little cutie. So this is Pip. She is mainly white in color. She has got a little bit, hey baby, of spots on her chest. And of course she's got the colored ears and a patch on her eye tail needs damn good wash but i do think that is uh, brown in the middle of it it's not all yellow and she's just got little bits of brown this side but yeah look she seems to have settled down so lewis is just going to give her a quick brush off we have spent the week with her haven't we yeah. on the run up to this so she knew us before like coming to a new place we did spend some time up there with her um because as i say she's she's been she's been at the yard she's been at for a long time well she's coming three so she spent most of her life at that yard so we didn't want to make it too scary for her but she's sweet isn't she lewis yeah yeah just be cautious because you don't she's in a new place Although we've brushed her off, she was absolutely fine at the other yard. She's in a new place, so just be cautious. Hey, baby. What do you think of all the fur, all the hair, Lewis? Uh, irritating. <laughs> irritating? And they're annoying to bath. <laughs> and you mind about Gambler, because Gambler's a bit overweight. You said it took you ages to bath him because he's got so much belly to bath. This has got a lot more hair to bath now, hasn't it? Yeah, but she's half the size. She's half the size. But yeah, we're going to let her settle in for a bit before we bath her, aren't we? Yeah, get her used to everything. But yeah, and now this is it. We've got to learn this whole journey now of how to look after her mane and her feather, get her overstamped with TGCA or chaps. I don't know which one we need to go for i don't know how to do any of that i have never ever owned anything like this so i haven't got a clue have you got a clue mm -hmm. no <laughs> but yes we're gonna try and make her she doesn't need to be a showstopper in the show ring does she that's not what we were looking for we were just looking for something calm and sensible for the two young grandkids weren't we yeah, so I don't know where this journey's gonna take us. Um, I don't know. Not a clue with this, but I think we're gonna have fun learning, aren't we, Lewis? Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, the whole, the, this just come out the blue. We, of course, we're still looking for a Welsh D filly for him. Um, so this one was not planned at all, but, I didn't feel that I could pass her up because I think she's going to be absolutely perfect for the grandkids um, in time. They're too young to do anything yet. She's too young to do anything, but she's got a nice quiet attitude, so they should be able to lead her about and do everything, like brush her off at the moment. And then as they learn to ride, hopefully, she will um, we'll get her broken to ride in time, no rush. As I say, she's only just coming through this summer, so nothing's going to happen this year. But I'm hoping that the grandkids can grow up with her and have lots of fun. But yeah, that's the end of this video. If you like what you see and want to follow along with our journey with Pip, then don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you again soon for the next one. Bye.